Investigators are pulling plane parts out of a neighborhood in Broomfield tonight. Pieces from a plane engine rain down over homes, roads, even a soccer field filled with kids. Amazingly, nobody was hurt. Same for the people in the air. United Airlines flight 328 bound for Hawaii made it back to DIA safely, even with this terrifying view outside the window. Uh, seeing uh, uh, an engine on fire and smoke coming out of it in a large plane, uh, you know, that, that's concerning. It was pretty concerning, no doubt. Mark Salinger talked to the passengers who saw it all from their windows. We will hear more from them in a minute. First, Allie Levine is live in Broomfield tonight where plane parts are still spread all over the place. Yeah, Jenny, that's no exaggeration. They are truly everywhere around this area. They are in the two neighborhoods right nearby where we are, and they are, of course, right here in Commons Park. In fact, just a little bit earlier, there was one over my shoulder. Now, since this debris fell all over today, uh, earlier in this afternoon, people have just been stopping by to take a look at it, to take pictures, to show their friends, and you know, more than anything, people are relieved. They're shocked, but they're relieved that no one was hurt. This guy is <gasps> falling from the sky. You know, it's crazy. It's all anyone in Broomfield is talking about. It looked a lot like confetti, but a lot bigger. Some saw it first. I saw this big cloud of smoke in the sky. For others, it was the noise. We heard this big bang. That alerted them to the debris falling from above. A lot of people said they heard that really loud explosion, which startled a lot of people. Next thing you know, we heard another big bang and looked out our front window right as the engine cowl rolled into the tree. Kirby Clements was one of the many close calls of the day. A massive piece of debris fell right on top of his truck. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it was pretty, pretty weird. Uh, to see that happen. It missed him and his wife by about 10 feet. So yeah, it, it would have been, <laughs> it put, that big a piece would have gone through through our roof. Clements was lucky and he wasn't the only one. And the fact that we are still not getting reports of any injuries is absolutely shocking at this point. I, I'm, it's amazing. All right guys, I'm gonna have you step back all the way back towards the sidewalk, please. Pieces of the plane fell not only in neighborhoods, but also in Commons Park. We just got on the field. Where Jim Hunter was coaching soccer. And it was everywhere. The sky was full of these pieces raining down on the field. The athletes went from running drills. A little bit of offense and defensive stuff. To running for their lives. When we were running to the shelter, it was like looking up to make sure that there wasn't a giant black piece over your head. Still, not a single person was injured. Like, that's pretty crazy that, like, nobody got hurt. Nobody really understands how or why. Yeah, I'm honestly shocked. But no one here is complaining. Nobody got hurt. I've seen a lot of people I haven't seen in a while. <laughs> this excitement. Allie Levine, 9 News. It could have been a lot worse. We heard that so many times today. As you saw in that piece, streets and sidewalks were closed down as they were taped off with caution tape in areas where that debris fell. A lot of that has been cleared away. We were told that the NTSB has removed much of that debris from this area. Broomfield Police do want to remind folks that if you come across a piece of that debris, maybe in your backyard, possibly on your morning walk. Do not touch it. Do not try to remove it. Just call dispatch and they will take care of it. Yeah, because all of that is really important for them, uh, for the investigators who are now trying to figure out what happened. So leave it be and get somebody else to come out and take a look at it. Allie Levine reporting for us in Broomfield tonight. Allie, thank you. Now up in the air, more than 230 passengers and crew who thought they were headed for Hawaii had their flight derailed just minutes after takeoff. The pilots turned around and got back to DIA on one engine. Mark Salinger talked with some of those passengers as they got off the plane tonight, Mark. Yeah, Steve, looking outside of a window and seeing an engine on fire is pretty much anyone's worst, worst nightmare on an airplane. Now, some people who, everybody who boarded this flight on their way to Hawaii, they expected to go on vacation. Instead, they got an incredibly scary scenario. The view from a window seat on United Flight 328 
is one of sheer terror. We couldn't really see any fire at first, then there was smoke, and then a little later, then the fire came along, but we were right there in that window facing it. Brett Guy took this video shortly after takeoff from Denver International Airport en route to a vacation in Hawaii. The Boeing 777 experienced an engine failure over parts of Broomfield. I don't know, in my head, I was just like, I don't know if we're gonna get out of this. We were right on the wing, so I looked out and I could see some smoke coming and I just knew, you know, like you just know something's wrong, something's not right. Brenda Doan was a few rows behind Brett with her kids. My daughter was sitting on the window and she's, a, you know, I, I was just like, don't look, like let's let's close it up and let's just pray. So that's what we did. We kind of just held hands and said some prayers. We took some time to pray uh, with each other and there were people around me praying, but I, I felt fairly confident that we were gonna uh, make it back to the airport. Troy Lewis was traveling with his family. They sat in the rows in front of Brenda. Oh yeah, as uh, soon as we kind of made the corner and we could see the runway, I, I made sure, you know, our family, we told each other we loved each other. It makes you all of a sudden remember all those things that you can easily forget. In the middle of every flyer's worst nightmare, passengers are thankful for a crew that landed the crippled plane safely. I talked to the pilot a little bit and he was calm and confident and I'm grateful for the pilots, their experience the way they were able to manage this to keep us all safe. Kind of blessings, man. Like, you never know what's going to happen, but um, uh, hug your loved ones and uh, enjoy your life. Yay! Definitely a crazy experience. I don't want to have repeated. So. And all those passengers on that flight were rebooked onto another flight that left later this evening. Of course, some folks decided that they didn't want to get on another airplane today. And Steve, you really can't blame them. No, you cannot blame them. In fact, I might be in that club after an experience like that. Mark Salinger live from Denver International Airport. Mark, thanks. Nine News aviation expert Greg Fife has investigated many plane crashes or malfunctions throughout his career. So tonight he explained what we know about this engine failure and what investigators will be looking for next. Denver uh, departure United 328 heavy mayday aircraft uh, just experienced a engine failure need to turn immediately. This type of failure could have happened at any time in the flight. But during takeoff, where you're using maximum power, that's the highest time of probability for a failure like this to have occurred. All that debris that fell over Broomfield, critical for investigators to answer why this happened. It could have been manufacturing defect. It could have been a fatigue failure, which is associated with aging aircraft issues. All of those will be on the table until they can find the blade or blades that have failed. The flight was headed for Honolulu. There is no way for the crew or anyone else to have known when a failure like this was going to take place. These passengers and this crew were very fortunate that it didn't happen five hours into the flight over the middle of the Pacific Oceans. Well, if this had occurred over the ocean, depending on where they were along their route of flight, there's either a turn back point whereby they would have come back to California or someplace along that coast versus continuing on to Honolulu. Instead, this plane made a big circle over the metro, landing safely back at DIA. Flight crews are trained for this kind of event on a very regular basis. And while they hope they never have to use those types of skills that they learn in training, this is where training paid off. So this was handled in a very professional, thorough and methodical manner. Fife said this was a two engine aircraft and that the FAA has certified it to fly with one for a period of time, but no more than 240 minutes from being able to land. NTSB investigators from Denver are now in charge of the investigation.